Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the IMO Smart Search tutorial. My name is Therese Molinaire, and I will be your presenter today. We're going to begin first with activation, then move through where to see the Smart Search functionality, and then move through how to use the functionality. So let's begin first by clicking on Admin from your gray navigation tab. And once I click on Admin, I'm going to click on Product Activation. Once Product Activation screen opens up, I'm going to scroll down to where I see the Smart Search functionality. I'm going to click on Settings. Now, being a Group 1 client, the product should already be activated for you. The reason I'm taking you to this screen is so that if you do bring on additional staff members or additional providers, that when you come to product activation and you come to the IMO, there'll be another green link right here that says Enable for All. When you click Enable for All, it will enable it for all of your staff members. And so for those that just came on that are new, once you log out and log back in, when they log in, they should be able to see the Smart Search functionality. Now, the reason why you have the Smart Search functionality is because it's designed to be a clinician-friendly resource that saves a physician's time when searching for a diagnosis, leaving more time for clinical care. So that is the premise behind IMO and how it interacts with eClinical Works. So let's begin. So I have a patient on the schedule today, so I'm going to click on my S Jelly Bean, and I'm going to double-click to go into my progress note. And by the way, I will also be going through the e-version as well. So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to go to my assessments window. So as you can see in this window, I have the blue option at the top in the upper left-hand corner to switch to my classic search. So this looks like the old way you used to search for diagnoses. But up at the top now, I have the blue smart search option. If I click on this real time, if I click on this, it will search by character, but it takes time doing this because it searches the entire database. So as I click in each character, it's still going to filter. I do not recommend using this real time search filter, but you can. So now you can search that way, but you can also search by abbreviations. So I can put in HDN and click go, and it'll bring me to hypertension. Okay, so you can search by abbreviation. You can search by um, even spelling it wrong. So if I was to do heat attack, right, it'll automatically suggest heart attack for me. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference between the blue link and the black link? So the blue link lets you define further. The black link is a one for one, there's a match one-on-one -on -one for that. So if you click that, so in this particular case, I could bring in past heart attack, it's gonna automatically bring it in. Now, if I click on the blue link, watch how it defines it further. So it wants you to come in here and I can click on expand to expand my list. And I can click type two. And if it does, it automatically brings me the suggested drill down diagnoses. Okay, I can reset. And if I pick another option, it allows me to filter further, then you can click whatever it is and click OK, and it'll bring it into the note. Now, we can also, if I were to search for, which is a very broad diagnosis, right? Once you click on the blue link for osteoarthritis, right, then you can say, what is the ankle? Is it the primary diagnosis? Um, and then you can expand, and it's going to suggest different ones. So it just depends on what you're searching for that, again, it gives you many options. So another way to search is if you have bilateral. So if I'm going to put in calf pain. So I put in calf pain, and I click Go. Now, I can click bilateral, right, left, right. I can cl click on the blue link, as you already saw. It defines it further. But my bilateral calf pain, right, if I bring that up, what it does is when you bring it in, it also brings in the right side and the left side. So if I click OK, 
right? I can bring both in and you can see it brought in both sides because of the bilateral selection. Last but not least, if I bring in and I type in breast cancer stage, it also supplies me with the stages of cancer as well. So that's a nice feature um, and another reason why the providers like it is because it saves time. Now, I want to show you, based on all of this, where does it display, where is other areas within the ECW software, can I find this smart search? So anywhere where there is the classic search, you will also find the smart search. So if I go in and I go into my, like to, to prescribe a medication, and I click on add from my treatment window, then you can click on add and it'll bring in, it brings you to the smart search, right? So if I cancel out of there, and if I were to go to add a new order, right within this window labs diagnostic imaging and procedure i just click on the add and my smart search function is available so that i may add diagnoses on the fly and last but not least is in the billing section within the progress note so if i scroll down to the bottom and i click on the visit code i can click on add and it'll bring me up to smart search as well So now I'm on the resource schedule. Again, I'm starting from scratch, just like I did the same workflow, just like I did in the EXE version. So what you'll notice is that the screen looks different. Everything that's any clinical work in the desktop is also in the browser verse or the E version. So if I click on admin, and one of the biggest differences is that admin is down at the bottom rather than the top, right? So if I click on product activation, Again, it's the same list, and I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to get to my smart search. I'm going to click on settings, and the same thing applies. There'll be a green link there. It should already be activated, but the green link is to enable it for all users. So when you have new staff members come on, it should allow you to enable it for them as well. Again, I'm going to click on my S Jelly Bean. I'm going to go into my patient. I'm going to scroll down to my assessment window. So if I click on assessment, so what I want to start out with first is within this window, the glory uh, or a, a blessing from the E version is that I can get rid of all these diagnoses just like this. So I'm going to get rid of all these diagnoses so I can start all over. All right, so you can see it's already defaulting. I don't have a link to click to, right? Because it automatically is defaulting to Smart Search. And how do you get this to default to Smart Search? Do you see this cylinder or this cog? If you click on it, there's a check mark by it, which it automatically defaults. If I uncheck it, right, it'll bring up your ICD-9. So I'm going to leave it just like this on Smart Search. Now, again, I'm going to repeat just what I did before. I can still do abbreviations, and it'll bring it up. My blue links, my black links, right? If I click on the blue link, it lets me define it further. So once I click on it, my expand function works the same, and my collapse function, I click on whichever one it is, and it brings me that diagnosis. I click OK, and it brings it into the patient's chart. All right, so if I was to bring in calf pain again, whoops, and I click bilateral, so if I click bilateral, it'll bring me up the two diagnoses. I click OK, and they display there as well. If I pick osteoarthritis and I bring it up, again, I can pick whichever body part, hip, and I say it's primary. And the more I click, I can say right, and it is it defines it further. So once I bring it in, I simply click OK. Another wonderful feature of the E version is that now I get to add all of these to my favorites right on the fly. So this is something that I know the providers and the MAs will like is how to build that favorite diagnoses list. And in the E version, 
It's very easy. It's very, very easy, and I really like it. So now I'm going to take you to where you see the different places where you can see it and the functionality of how it's different in the e-version. So if I go back and I'm going to do um, a medication and I want to add a diagnosis on the fly, I can click on my Rx. And I'm going to click the plus sign. And here over on the right-hand side is my smart search. But the glory of it, look, I can click on my star. And now here's all my favorites. So I uncheck my star. I'm right back from the beginning. So if I click OK, now I want to go into my um, option to add a new order, like labs, diagnostic, imaging, or procedures. And I want to be able to add a diagnosis on the fly. Here's my Add Diagnosis tab. And again, once I click on it, it shows up on the right-hand side. And last but not least, and so once I get out of this screen, I'm back to the progress note. I'm going to scroll down. And once I click on the visit code, or my billing options, right? I can click Add CD and I can add a diagnosis on the fly. And I have my smart search option here. So this concludes the tutorial for the IMO smart search functionality.